So you got yourself an iPhone and you want wireless charging. Well, you got two options. One, trade in your iPhone and get a different phone, or get me in your life. So before I take you through this, let's, let me clarify some things. The iPhone 6 and 6 Plus are some of my favorite devices of 2014, but they do lack some features that are on other smartphones, and among these features is wireless charging. And the only reason why I'm doing this video is because I'm a big fan of wireless charging. Some of you guys are fine with the lightning connectors, some of you guys are fine with micro USB, some of you guys are just okay with the way things have always been. However, I'm one of them people that like to experiment and try new things, and with that being said, I'm here to show you how you can get wireless charging on your iPhone 6, 6 Plus, or any Apple device that has a lightning connector. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. You might have saw my most recent video where I taught you how to add wireless charging to your micro USB device, such as your OnePlus One, your Moto X, or your Galaxy Note 4, whatever device you have with the micro USB receiver. However, it doesn't really benefit you if you have an Apple device, which is why I'm making a separate video for that. So what we have here is your Apple device with a lightning connector at the bottom. In this case, I'll be installing it on an iPhone 6 Plus. However, this will work for an iPhone 6, iPhone 5S, iPhone 5, iPad mini, whatever device you have with a lightning connector at the bottom. And this is a first way wireless charging receiver, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. It retails for about 15 bucks and you can get it through Amazon. If you look close, it says it's for the iPhone 6. However, they do make them for the 6 Plus and they're exactly the same except for the size of the wireless charging receiver pad. But it doesn't mean it's going to charge your device any faster. So just keep that in mind when you purchase this. If they're sold out of the 6 Plus, you can definitely get one for the 6 and vice versa. Inside the box, all you're going to find is the wireless charging receiver itself. And you can see it looks very, very similar to the one that has the micro USB plug at the bottom here. In case you missed that video, I'll leave a link to it down below as well. In case you're like me and you like to carry an Android device and an Apple device and you want wireless charging on both, you could have both. Just check out that video in the description below. Now you can see here it is a Qi wireless charging pad and at the bottom here you have your lightning plug. If you flip it over, you have some adhesive here. You just peel that off and it's a piece of tape that will actually stick to the back of your device so that way it will hold the charging pad in place. So what you're gonna wanna do is take your iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus or whatever device you have and take it out of its case because you're gonna need a case for this as well which is the reason why I left this case on my phone. That way I could fully demonstrate how this works. So go ahead and take your device out of the case and you're gonna wanna plug the lightning plug in the bottom right here. Now, the good thing about this is it's universal, which we all know the lightning plug is universal, so you can plug it in either way. So if you don't wanna stick this on your phone, you can actually stick it to your case instead, or you could just do what I do and not stick it to anything and unplug it as you want. So just go ahead and plug it in here, and you can see the adhesive side here. Let's go ahead and pull off the tape here and then adhere it to the back of your iOS device. Let's go ahead and stick it there. You can see it's on there nice and secure. Now you want to install it back in the case, and that's it. Easy as pie. And it's hardly noticeable on the bottom. However, when you're holding it, if you hold your phone like I do, with your finger kind of cupping the chin of the phone, the cable on the lightning plug is definitely not very comfortable, and it digs into your finger a little bit. But if you have a case that doesn't expose so much at the bottom, and it's not as thin as this one, you'll be all right. And this is also compatible with OtterBox style cases, so if you use one of the heavy duty style cases, this will actually be concealed more. Another thing that I don't like is the fact that the lightning plug itself is gold and when you have a space gray phone it looks really tacky and it's the only cover they offer. But there are other brands out there that offer wireless charging receivers for lightning devices or Apple devices and I'll leave a link to a couple of those down below as well. Most of them I've seen are gold but I think there was a silver one out there which would look a lot better than this. I guess if you had a gold phone though, it wouldn't look as bad. However, it is a different shade of gold than what Apple puts on their devices. So the video wouldn't be complete without a quick test. So we'll go ahead and throw the phone on the wireless charger right here. And you can see it starts up immediately and it's actually quite fast. 
The specifications of the wireless charger receiver consist of an input voltage of 5 volts, an input current of 1 amp, an output current of 900 milliamps, a transmission power of 5 watts, charging voltage of 5 volts, and charging output 500 to 1000 milliamps. So it's going to charge your device quite fast. It's not going to be as fast as say a wall adapter, however it's going to be significantly fast for a wireless charger. It's not always about the wireless charging receiver, it's also about the wireless charger itself when it comes to how fast your device is going to get charged. If you're using a wireless charger that has a low output, then you're not going to get the results that you would get with a wireless charger that has a high output. Just keep that in mind. So we'll go ahead and do a quick test on how fast this thing actually charges my iPhone 6 Plus, and you can see it starts off on 33%. And then after a short two minutes, it goes up by 1%. So you can expect to gain one to one and a half percent every two minutes or so, which really isn't that bad considering this is wireless charging. Plus, I'm the kind of person that only uses wireless charging when I don't plan on going anywhere for a while. For instance, at night, right before bed, I'll put my phone on a wireless charger. But if I'm in between jobs or on my lunch break and I need a fast charge, I'm gonna use the traditional wall charger. Well guys, that does it for me. I really hope you're enjoying wireless charging on your iOS device now and that next time go around when they release a new iPhone, Apple just implements the crap instead of us having to come up with workarounds to get this feature. I mean, I love Apple phones, don't get me wrong. I've been an iPhone lover for years now, but they are still very limited in some of the specifications that are included in other devices. Like Nokia has had wireless charging for years now and so has Android devices. And I'm really looking forward to the day that Apple does bring it into their own devices. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more like it, let me know in the comment section below what you would like to see. And I'll do my best at making that video for you. If you want to follow me on all my social media connections, you can find those links in the description below, as well as links to purchase all the items you've seen in this video. I really hope you enjoyed it again, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.